What are you doing to bulletproof your 6.7 liter power stroke? What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna tear apart this fuel pump. This came out of a 2017 F450 67 power stroke, 250,000 miles on it. I don't have the BCD valve, but I will put a picture in here for you so you can see that. And here's the injectors. So let's go ahead and take this thing apart. It did have metal in it. We're gonna take the plungers out so we can see what's going on here. All right, here we got the injectors. Um, these little crush washers did come off with all of them, the compression washer. <clears throat> But these are metal contaminated, so we had to replace the injectors, the rails, all the little pipes. This was cylinder number four, and the reason I know that is because this bad boy would not come off and I broke the pipe. It's getting new injectors anyway, and a new return line, so and a new rail. So I wasn't really worried about that. Make sure you subscribe. See this one doesn't have the compression washer on it? It's probably uh, <clears throat> down in a trash can somewhere. But the real concern is this here fuel. And if we take a close look, you may be able to see this. Maybe not. See all that metal debris down in there? And in here, let's go ahead and scoop this out with my finger. That's all metal debris. <clears throat> let's go ahead and pop this bad boy off. Oh, by the way, that is a T30. Uh, Looks like that boy's stuck in here. Yep, it's stuck. It looks like it <clears throat> it's spun and it is stuck. Let's try to pop this other side off. Yeah, I can't even spin it the whole way. Usually you can turn it. This thing won't even turn. Let's see if I can get a pick. Viking mechanic came up with a good idea. Some snap ring pliers. This thing is jammed in there. Isn't it Viking Mechanic? Oh yeah. Those are the heaviest duty snap ring pliers that I've, I've ever seen. Oh my god. At least one of them. Oh, there we go. So, 
is actually turned this way in the bore. See the flat spot? Flat spot. And I was able to move the crank or the little camshaft. You get your light on you? Nice. Now, let's see if we can extract this other side. You can see where it turned. That thing's jacko. So that's where all the metal comes from. Let's see if we can use this. I think it's too deep. Scarred up too. It didn't, yeah, but it did turn. See that? Yeah. This one turned more. So, this is what these things do they turn inside the bore. It, you can't put a mileage on these things. Like, we got some with 600,000 miles on them that are still going strong, and then we have others with, we just did one with 20,000 miles on it. And I, I can barely even turn that. So they're supposed to sit in the bore like this, but they start to turn. You ain't gonna be able to pull that off. You gotta have a puller to get this piece out. This um, it pulls out. Should be a T40, I think. So when that happens, so this one turned the most. So instead of sitting in the bore this way, it was turned like this, and you can see where the cam lobe was riding on it this way. That's where all the metal comes from. That's where the metal gets inside here, which sends it through the fuel rail into the injectors. So these injectors are crap. We're gonna see if we can pull this out of here so we can actually pull the cam out so we can see that. So there's the inside of the pump. See all that metal debris down in there? Here's the can. So, instead of this sitting like this, you see that dark line right there? Instead of sitting like this, sitting like that so it rotated inside the bore well you can see the actual gap difference with it so that is what happened with our pump sent metal through the whole thing this one's junk it actually has a new DCR pump in it now Like I said, you cannot put a mileage on these things, they just go. Don't they, Andrew? Mm -hmm. They're not covered. Nope. So that's why we recommend that you get a disaster prevention kit or the DCR pump. I'm gonna recommend a DCR pump.
We should put this on our wall of shame. So there's the pump failure. I love you guys. I'll see you on the next one.